Hi, Abraham. I'd like to talk today about my physical body. Yeah. And heart's beating really quickly. Um, I've, I, what I understand is that I, it's really good to start with what you understand. That's really good. Understand is a good word, isn't it? What's under where I'm standing, basis, really yes. good. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what I understand is that I've healed myself yeah. and my physical body is catching up good with that reality good words and accurate thank you and um, my question is what am I unaware of in my um, what am I resistant to there's some resistance this is the same thing that we've been talking about isn't this a good theme to have today it's letting go of that human tendency of finding out what's wrong so I can stop doing it but when you're looking for the thing that you think is wrong, you're still doing it. Got it. So you're holding yourself in that place. And what does that mean? What does it indicate? It indicates that I don't really trust the vortex and I don't really trust my inner being. And most of all, I don't trust myself to line up with that. But you can. And I do. So what you're saying, we're just going to put some other human words around it. I have this evidence that isn't what I want. And how do I make this evidence that I don't want go away? Yeah. And we say, first of all, it's got to stop being evidence, which means it's got to stop being something that you focus upon. And that's easier in some cases than others, isn't it? But it's always the same thing. What you give your attention to becomes more. And what you give your attention to less becomes less. It's the law. Mm then you want to scream at us and we don't blame you well when something is right there how can you not notice it and we say by noticing other things more it's kind of the conversation we just had with our friend and you've been trained to be so objective to weigh the pros and the cons and humans have been trained by each other you're not doing each other any favor to believe that you've got to take the whole of everything let's just consider it all and then let's just decide the parts we're going to keep and the parts we're not going to keep and we say Every time you point at a part that you're not going to keep, you keep it. So it's not taking the whole and deciding, I'll keep that and I won't keep that and I'll keep that and I won't keep that because that's saying, I'll keep it all, I'll keep it all, I'll keep it all. But when you say, I like that, oh, I love that, I take pleasure from that, I feel secure in that, oh, I love the well being of that, I love the feeling of that, now you're choosing the parts you like. And in a little while, you can calibrate your vibration only to that. It's like your radio signals in your vehicles or in your equipment, they're calibrated to frequencies so that they take what they're calibrated to and everything else isn't there. And that's a good thing, or you'd be listening to all of XM radio at once. <laughs> what would that be like? And you say, oh, wait, wait, I'll tune that out, and I'll tune that out, and I'll tune... That's really going about it the hard way. The calibration is taking place at a vibrational level. Understood. Um, <laughs> I take great pleasure in life and and what I get to do on a daily basis and I um you know we like what you're going to say but let's say something more potent and more powerful right now all day we've been talking about calibration so let's just get down to it how to do it and we talked about segment intending and that's the best way of calibrating that we know let's say that you've got a notebook in your lap and a pen in your hand and you're preparing yourself for a segment so what is a common segment a new segment is when you're going to go into a different room maybe or you're going to be with different people maybe you're going to do something different in other words a segment is anytime things change and now you're identifying how you want to feel and be what you want your point of attraction to be when you're in that segment so what's a common segment that you might be walking into every day uh, my work all right so you're gonna go to work and are you the only one there or are there others it's myself yes do you interact with any other people or is it just you and you and you and you I interact with my clients over the phone so it's not just you it's you and them so there are some things to consider about that but not really very important things to consider because it's not about that so much as is it about who you are walking into it so 
what segment intending is, it's writing, because writing is a strong point of focus, writing statements that activate within you feelings of well-being, whether you call it fun or security or love or interest. You want to use feeling words. I like the feeling of this or I savor this. So what kind of things might you say in order to isolate a vibration within yourself before you go to work? That I have um, the honor of leading others and... All right, now that's kind of jumping further forward than we would encourage, but maybe that's the easiest place for you to start. What is it that is the easiest for you to feel blessed about or good about? Yeah, yeah, so that's really simple for me. Then it's just thank you. It's thank you for this opportunity. I feel thankful. Yes. I feel thankful yes. for. And then if you're sure you're thankful. Yes. And you're sure it's not about the son that you haven't talked to in 10 years. If you're sure you're thankful. Yes. Then flesh it out a little bit. I'm thankful for. And let the emotion and the energy run through you as you are writing the words briefly on the page. I'm thankful for. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for the opportunities to use my voice. All right, so opportunities sounds like future. Okay. I'm thankful for how I feel right now. Got it. I'm thankful for who I am. Yes. I'm thankful for who I be. I'm thankful that this is my point of attraction. I'm thankful that my inner being is aware of me. I'm thankful that I know this stuff. I feel happy. There is nothing that I would rather do. This is the thing that I love the most of all. This is such a delicious life that I'm living. Can you feel what's going on? I really, 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 Esther writes lots of reallys on her page. I really, 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 really like this. I like this delicious knowing. I'm excited about what's going to unfold. I'm excited about the possibilities and the potentials. I love the feeling of connection and intuition and intuitiveness. I love the feeling of receiving and alignment. I so adore the trust they have in me. I like the feeling of right place, right time. You see what's going on? You see what you're doing? You're calibrating yourself to the whole of who you are. And then that you is walking into that environment and then that you is attracting from that environment. That is segment intending. Yeah, yeah, got it. And so you're right, that is the easiest. So now pick another segment that you might walk into. Even one that's not as easy as that one because you're really, really good at that one. We got all of that from you. That was really easy. So yeah. pick another segment where you're wanting to calibrate. You want to calibrate and you feel the necessity of calibrating. In other words, you're going to calibrate because you're going to do this. So you might as well line up before you walk into it. Something yeah. like that. So the way that I language it is my healing. And I understand there's contrast in that because what I know is that I've healed myself. And I'm, um, I'm doing work. I'm in treatments to help my body resolve the situation. All right, so give us an, an example of a segment okay. that's about to happen. Yeah, so I walk into a place called Xenogenesis and get radi uh, resonant frequency. I'm going to yeah. walk into this place. But before you do, you're going to do some segment intending. So you've got your notebook, and so you're going to activate something that's easy and calibrate to it. I like being in my human body. I like knowing that I'm an extension of source energy. I love knowing about the intelligence of my cells. I love my cells. I so love my cells. I adore the cells that make up me and that make me up. I love the cells. I love my cells. I love their responsiveness. I love their flexibility. I love their intelligence. I love their relationship with source energy. I love what they know. I love what they know that I know that they know. And I love what they know that I don't yet know that they know. But I really love my cells. Can you feel the calibration taking place? Yes, I can. I love knowing the well-being of my body. I love acknowledging. Now, you don't want to get into 
it in, in any way that causes any challenging but I love being me I love what is I love what's next I love my life experience I love the wholeness of all of this I love being physical you can be as general or as specific as you're able to be and maintain your feeling of calibration but you can just feel your well-being come do you know that you can do this on behalf of others you can focus so much on the well-being of some other that you can actually influence their well-being if you really calibrate to that well-being you see in fact it's easier for you to do with others you do that all day every day than it is with yourself and it's only because what is is a little more present or dominant in your experience you see so let's accomplish that calibration I like being in my body and I like my responsive body and I like knowing that my new asking is accomplishing a different vibrational frequency than anything that I've ever done before and I love the newness of my expanding being I love the extending of me into my experience and I love knowing that things are always working out for me I love knowing that my inner being knows things that I can't even articulate but I love that feeling of well-being of knowing that my inner being knows that's calibration do you feel it taking place and then under those conditions that's who you take into that environment and then that environment is affected by what you know and the parts about your calibration that help you stick and the parts that could potentially be there that are not part of your calibration bounce off of you so you are actually soliciting from the environment in which you are going the components that match the calibration that you accomplished this is deliberate creation at its very best you see there just isn't anything that you can't apply this to so if we were standing in your physical shoes we'd calibrate on easy things first and interesting some of the things that you think are the easiest aren't the things that you think the most about are the things that you've practiced wonky calibration about because you've been calibrating a lot to things as they are not as you would like them to be and so we're asking you to uncalibrate at beliefs it's just calibration and you've calibrated to a lot of things you want and you've calibrated to a lot of things you don't want and you just got to know the difference you see but when you tune to the frequency of well-being it is an across the board helpful thing you don't even have to focus on the subject in fact sometimes you're better off if you don't the first conversation we had will solve the second segment Did you hear that it's like the pile of sticks that we talk about so there's this pile of sticks and every stick on one end of it is wanted and on the other end of it is absence of wanted and you're somewhere on every subject every subject you lean one way or the other some of them you lean all the way toward what you want some of them you lean all the way toward what you don't want and you're in different places on different sticks so here's a pile of sticks if we were standing in your physical shoes we would pick out the stick that feels the best and we would think mostly or only about that stick that feels the best and in doing so we would calibrate every other stick in the pile do you know that oh you thought you had to get every stick out and fix it <laughs> a lot of those sticks are unfixable because when you pick them up the calibration of it just go <laughs> you've been at it for years leave it in the pile pick up the stick that feels the best and it'll take care of the other sticks that's the easiest way we can explain that yes mm -hmm. yeah, yeah understood yeah. so what is true healing calibrating to source does the subject of healing have anything is it relevant subject of healing a relationship not relevant subject of healing my body not relevant subject of fixing the economy or whatever not relevant calibrate to well-being and everything is taken care of you see how it works yes does it make you feel lazy <laughs> a little because you've sort of given yourself a lot of accolades and rewards for struggle and suffering the biggest monuments are for those who have suffered the most <laughs> teasing you <sighs> we've enjoyed this day a lot it's fun to play with you it's fun to feel you it's fun to feel you calibrating to who you really are that's just delicious for us it's delicious for us to know what's in your vortex and to find you moving in the direction of it